Hey everyone, how's it going? I am Zerikon and I am back once again. Near the end of my Steam Deck impressions video, I mentioned how I would love for more companies to make handheld gaming PCs. While the GPD Win and Ioneal existed well before the deck, I still wanted more players in the market to provide more competition. Well, I got my wish, Monkey's Paw included. Logitech is, or rather, has, created their own gaming handheld called the G Cloud Gaming Handheld. It released October 18. Why do I dislike this product? Well, as the name implies, this is a streaming device. This isn't like the Win, Neo, or Deck where you can play the games in your library whenever you want, wherever you want. This is a device where you must always be online, so you're going to be tethered to the internet one way or another, which really defeats the purpose of a gaming handheld. A gaming handheld's only major limit should be its battery life, which, thanks to the underpowered specs, which I'll discuss later, is something that the cloud gaming handheld dominates. But it's limited by everything else. If you're outside your home, the cloud gaming handheld is a brick if you're not connected to someone else's Wi-Fi, which better be decent, or a mobile hotspot. But if you're on the road using your smartphone, you better not hit a dead zone or enter a tunnel, or your session is going to get bumpy. You know, I remember when I was a kid and my mom dropped my dad off at work, I was playing on my Game Boy Advance. I enjoyed playing it through the car rides, but I remember being ticked off because my signal dropped when we went through a tunnel. Oh wait, that didn't happen, because I didn't need the internet to play my games. But that actually makes me wonder why not just use your phone in the first place. I called it a gaming PC, but the cloud gaming handheld, and I really wish this thing had a shorter name, is really just a tablet running Android. Why not just get one of those controller cases that you attach to a smartphone and stream your games to that? Heck, you could do that with a tablet which many people have and an actual controller. I feel like Logitech is creating an answer to a problem that already has multiple answers. They're not doing anything that offers any competitive value. You won't be able to play games that aren't able to be streamed like GLG or itch.io games. You won't be able to configure your game files, add any kind of mods or other such things. Both Logitech and Tencent, which I'm not too surprised to see their name attached to this, have ensured that GeForce Now, Xbox Cloud Gaming, Steam Link, Google Stadia, which I'll come back to later, and Amazon Luna will work, but because they're cloud services, you have to pay for most of them. The underpowered specs and operating system are what keep it from having any major offline benefits. Because it's running Android, you won't be able to download a game onto the storage and play it later when you want to. There is a huge compatibility barrier. And this is even worse than trying to get a Windows game to run on Linux. Additionally, the games that would be compatible would need to be something that it could handle. While there are emulator APKs for Android, I doubt it would be able to run anything more demanding than the PS2 emulator. The device is running a mobile processor, and I don't mean that in the literal sense, but that it's a processor with mobile devices intended only. With the gaming PC handhelds I mentioned previously, those processors are mobile versions of their desktop counterparts. Intel and AMD have both done their best to take their desktop CPUs and downscale them to a mobile device. The Logitech device is using a Qualcomm CPU, which is intended only for mobile devices. Additionally, it only has 4GB of RAM. 4. You know what other gaming handheld only has 4GB of RAM? The Nintendo Switch. The only differences are that the Switch has more value, can play games regardless of internet connection, can be played without paying a monthly fee, and is cheaper. Oh, that's right, I didn't mention the price. The G Cloud Gaming Handheld costs 350 US dollars. For $50 less, you could get the standard Switch, or for $50 more, you could get the standard Steam Deck, which does the same things as the Logitech device does, and more. This thing is overpriced and has no edge in value whatsoever. While the Switch is also underpowered, and I disdain Nintendo, I would rather recommend someone buy one over the Logitech handheld. It has more value and offers a better handheld experience because you can truly play it anywhere and not have to worry about needing a connection. To wrap things up, I don't think this thing should survive, and honestly, I don't know how it can. It's too expensive compared with what others are offering that provide better value, even if they have to pay a little more. And earlier, I mentioned how Google Stadia was supported, but it's funny because Google announced that Stadia is ending this January. Obviously, Logitech didn't know this was going to happen at the time, but this highlights the problem with both of these services. They're streaming devices only. You can stream Game Pass to an Xbox, PS Now to a PS5, or GeForce Now to a PC, but you still have the option to play in other ways. The Stadia console and G Cloud Gaming handheld are dependent on streaming, 
so buying one is a terrible investment because it can easily be lost. And this might just be my opinion, but that's why the Stadia flopped. No one wants a streaming-only device. If Logitech wakes up and makes a device that functions as a deck, win, or neo, I will be glad to have it be a new entry. But this device deserves no place in the market. But that will do it for today. Thank you very much for taking the time to watch this video. I appreciate it. This wasn't a new story, obviously, but it was something I thought was worth sharing, especially seeing how things could go in the long run. Learning about this later almost makes me wish I was back on Twitter, but eh, it's, it's what it is. But let me know your thoughts on this in the comments below, and let me know how long you expect the G Cloud Gaming handheld to last. Heck, please give me a name that would be better than the current one. So, until next time everyone, I am Zerakhan signing off. Have a good one.